All right, you got something for us? So this is a great book. Um, it's pretty worn because I, I keep it in my car and uh, like I like to dip into it once in a while. Gateway to Happiness by Rabbi Zelig Pliskin. So all of his books are just amazing. They're a combination of cognitive behavioral therapy and Torah. And, uh, and just so many insights. This, this book is focused on, uh, on how to be happy. And uh, there's a great paragraph here. And this is why you need your own Rav. And, and you just don't like learn Torah from a book. And uh, one of the leading Musa personalities, Musa was this 19th century ethical Jewish uh -huh. strand of thought within Orthodox Judaism. So that the concepts of Torah are similar to medicines in a pharmacy. There are many beneficial drugs in a pharmacy, but it's important to know what is needed at any given time. So for instance, generally speaking, it's a misfit to have kids. But for you, no, it's not. That, that medicine is not applicable to you. So the right medicine must be taken in the appropriate amounts. Medicine that cures one illness can be damaging in other situations. Similarly, the Torah concepts that relate to self-improvement are an elixir of life and can be curative. But a person must learn which concept is necessary for him at a given time. I remember when I first got into Torah, I suddenly became Shomer and Nagiya. And that was like a bridge too far. Like that was, it was like, it was bizarre because it didn't fit in with who I was at the time. And it was just like, it was a bridge too far. It was, it was too much of a stretch for what I was capable of at the time. And I totally backslid and I like sliced through about 30 women after that. So it was just too much. A person must learn which concept is necessary for him at a given time. So you need, you need a rabbi. You need your own personal rabbi to help you with like the vast array of Torah mitzvahs and, and concepts and commandments and like for instance what should you do? Should you like spend your evenings studying Torah or should you spend your evenings working a second job? For some people they should spend their evenings working a second job for other people because they've got a sick wife or sick kids or they need to you know put together a wedding for their kids something like that. For other people they should spend their evenings studying Torah. Some people should spend their days visiting the sick. Other people should spend all day studying Torah. And other people should spend all day uh, defending criminals in court. So you need a rub, like, because there's so many different concepts and so many like competing values always going on in, in the Jewish approach to life. And that's why you need someone wise guiding you. Okay, two things on that. Mm -hmm. One is, um, why don't you take the, the, the advice to yourself and get yourself a rub rather than just learn on your own lady? Why don't you take the advice yourself? Because it might stop me from doing things I want to do. <laughs> so, you're, so you don't practice what you preach. You just say everybody else should get themselves a rob. Me, I'm good. Yeah. In fact, if you want me as your rob, I'm available. 